Hey everybody, Brandon here, I see Fungi. Let's get straight to it and make a steel air box at home. So what you wanna do is you wanna get one of these containers here. This is a 66 quart. Ideally, the bigger, the better. That one's bigger. We'll go on to that in a moment, but I wanna show you how easy it is just to get going. So let's let that heat up real quick. What this is gonna allow us to do is to make really good holes. When I first started, I tried to use a blade. I mean, it will work, but you're gonna crack it. And if you get a good enough crack, it's not gonna be usable. And see if we got it hot enough. right a lot of times it'll pop when you got it but uh i got it so we'll go back to that in a second just really take your time there's no rush let that heat up again it's gonna stink because of the plastic but if you let the plastic cool when you're done it'll just peel right off so we got one hole that's ready to go And let's get this second hole. All right, I got it for sure. And you can see how easy that is. Let's get the stove turned off. We burn down the house. Okay. So just like that, we were able to make perfectly good holes. So being that this one's kind of being stubborn you have to apply a little pressure but there ain't much to it and just like that you're able to get some really really good holes this stuff can get expensive so you don't want to crack it and mess it up so that's done just like that you have your steel air box well that's upgraded a little bit this is just a cooking grate right here what this allows is you to not be working on the bottom here. People will put a towel down, but you wanna make sure that it's a really thin towel. Otherwise, when you're pouring your agar, it's gonna be lopsided. So what I like are these little um, wipes that you can get at the grocery store, and these are reusable. You can wash them a few times, but they're really thin layered. And that'll allow that that, that will allow that if there's any dust or anything that is in here um it won't be spread as easily through the air it has something that it can sit on so another addition are these led push lights i put those at the top because ideally you want your steel air box in a place where there's not a lot of airflow and if that's a place like a closet you may not get the best light in there and when you're looking <clears throat> at your auger trying to figure out where you want to make an isolation from the extra lights help and so that's just something that i've kind of learned along the way this is my current steel air box the one that we just made here that's going to go to a friend i just i don't need it uh, doing just fine with that this is what i started off with initially it's way too small i need it bigger the, the hobby gets really uncomfortable and it cannot be it gets uncomfortable and it kind of takes away at the fun that you're supposed to be having when your workspace is just so um small so i just wanted to show you guys that real quick how fast and easily and painless it is to make a steel air box as long as you have a pot to piss in you don't even need the pot you just need the lid Anyways, get outside, get in nature. I see fungi. Do you?